Welcome to our webinar uh, with Buoni Business School. I'm Mariana. Uh, today I will be your moderator and uh, on behalf of you and my team. Today I'm with Gabriela, uh, Comasia and uh, Julia, who are part of the uh, Buoni Business School. In the first part of the webinar, they will share more about the uh, MBA program. And in the second part, uh, you will hear more uh, about the, the MBA programs from uh, Katarzyna, uh, who is an alumna, and she will share her experience. Uh, everyone who is listening, uh, you can ask questions in the Q&A section. Uh, during the webinar and uh, questions, all questions are welcome, so don't hesitate. Uh, before we start, I want to introduce my colleague Laura, who already uh, uh, contact some of you or will contact you after the webinar. Hello, Laura. Hi, uh, most of you who are attending this webinar, you have reached, like, uh, received several messages from me. So I'm very, very happy that uh, you managed to be here and uh, hear more about Bologna Business School. And of course, I will contact you afterwards after the webinar and yeah, enjoy. And yeah, I will give word to my uh, good colleagues from Bologna Business School. Thank you, Aura. Uh, so everything is set, everything is working and I can give you the word to Gabriella to tell you more. Hi, hello, good, e good evening, or good afternoon, or good morning to everybody, based on where you are in the world. Um, thank you to Laura and Mariana from uh, Unimai and Beyond, um, and thank you in advance to my team here at BBS. Um, so this webinar is just to explain a little bit more about who we are as a business school, and then Kamazia and Julia will then go more into depth with regards to the hybrid MBA in, in English, as well as the global MBA in English. Next slide, thanks. So we, as a business school, um, have certain key, let's say, motto or key words that we abide by in terms of our program design, as well as how we um, initiate our our, um, our our teaching journey. Um, interdisciplinary sustainability, internationalization, as we are obviously becoming even more um, in terms of an international business school and our integration with companies. Our, our masters are absolutely designed for individuals who would like to pursue leadership roles in the business administrative or administration landscape. So we really much a hands on um, business school when it comes to our learning journey. Next slide. No. So in terms of our accreditations, um, as I said earlier, we are an international business school. Uh, we are the business school associated to the University of Bologna. Um, so our accreditations have thus helped us with certain rankings, which we'll see in the next slide. Um, but we are equus accredited and we've just had our reaccreditation for the next five years. And uh, our programs or some of our programs are EFMD accredited. Next slide. Here we can see our rankings. Um, and thanks to our equus accreditation, we are also striving towards other accreditations. But thanks to equus accreditations, we have started uh, becoming listed on the rankings in worldwide. So QS, obviously, which is the most renowned as well as Financial Times. We can see, for example, um, the, the the global MBA was also has also been been ranked. So that's that's excellent. Thank you. Next slide. Um, in terms of our new campus, we at the Villa Gosti, our our historical campus is Villa Guastivilani. Uh, Villa Guastivilani is a 16th century villa in the hills of Bologna. Uh, and we have a new campus that is or has been built right across the road from our historical villa. Uh, this has helped us immensely in terms of the space um, as we have been growing in terms of our numbers. So this will also give us more opportunity 
to ensure um, a networking area for all of our, our students. Yeah, we can see, um, in fact, that the campus will give us at least 3,300 square meters of living space and a 500 plus classroom capacity, which added on to what we already have at the, at the historical villa really will ensure a new learning journey here in Bologna. Um, one of the most exciting, I think, changes obviously to our, our, our learning space and our learning journey will be our new cafeteria, uh, which will be part of the new campus, will allow for a fantastic um, atmosphere for both students and staff. So in terms of our sustainability, um, we at BBS obviously are very um, sustainability aware or sustain, you know, aware of the sustainability uh, requirements. Um, so most of our masters do also have um, integrated courses on business ethics and sustainability. So this is a real, really fantastic um, point to take into consideration that we um, obviously are, are the forefront thinkers and the forefront runners when it comes to our sustainability or sustainable education, as we have 10 years of experience in the field. Great, so this is just to give you an, an overview before we deep dive into what is the hybrid MBA and what is the global MBA, what does it mean and how do they differ? Um, why choose a master at BBS? So obviously the master improves your professional skills. Uh, we nurture your passions as an individual. So in our orientation uh, through our selection process, we try to understand each individual's needs in order to orientate the candidate towards the correct master. Um, and of course, in terms of our learning journey, we also have um, you know, career service uh, aspects, specifically within the global MBA as a full-time full -time master. We really do nurture um, our, our, our students when it comes to also um, internships post, post the master and our education and our executive education offers an amazing networking experience. So our international faculty um, is really led by um, you know, strong international visiting and adjunct professors uh, that are either practitioners or faculty from other universities that are then also in conjunct with um, our faculty here at the University of Bologna. Because as I said, we are the business school associated to the University of Bologna. So our major faculty is that of the University of Bologna within the managerial department. Uh, we have, as I said, practitioners, so we have a lot of managerial guest speakers, real life case projects, um, a vibrant, absolutely learning environment as we, you know, initially took this 16th century villa and changed it into a technological and, you know, atmosphere in order to ensure that we could also, also educate um, leaders or business leaders um, in the correct manner, and that has been been taken through to the to the new campus, um, and it's a it's it's definitely an environment where you will have the connection to practice with our um, you know relationships that we have both in Italy as well as as internationally. Okay. I'll now hand it over to my colleagues uh, Comasia um, and Julia, who will give you an in depth breakdown as to the differences between the two. Um, as well as obviously the targets when it comes to our hybrid MBA and our global MBA. Okay, thank you very much, Gabriella, for your splendid presentation of Bologna Business School. And I take also the occasion to thank you also the Unimai staff at helping us in uh, in these weeks organizing everything. And we are really pleasant here today to, to present you our international MBAs program, the hybrid MBA and the global MBA. We will start the first part of this presentation with the hybrid MBA program, and I'll have the pleasure also to have with us one of our alumni of, uh, of the hybrid program, and then we will head back to the, to the global MBA with, Julie, with the support of Julia. So let's start with the hybrid MBA English edition program. The hybrid MBA edition program is an um, um, executive MBA program directly issued by the Foundation Bologna Business School. This master has featured in 13 courses and three cross-cutting uh, cross culture, which aim to uh, with a main and specific focus, 
the focus of this master is specifically designed to provide to um, students, companies, individuals, the opportunity to uh, gain knowledge from the um, industry leaders and the excellences of the Italian industries uh, to uh, understand these examples and to bring this example on an international level through the head of these uh, uh, real case histories. The master is a part-time program and as you will see in this overview, it lasts around 16 months. The kickoff of the master is in December and it will end up in April uh, in uh, 2026. As I said, it's a part-time formula and uh, as you will see, the, it's managed uh, on a 90% percentage online while a 10% advantage will be on campus. The schedule is pretty simple. Every week we will have Wednesday afternoon lessons in uh, uh, from 6 to 9 p.m. Uh, chess time and once every three, four weeks on Friday evening and on Saturday morning. What is the main characteristic of this um, of these lessons is the 10% attendance on campus, which will be one full week from Monday to, to Friday on the smart week. In this day, uh, all you have done during your work online will be presented in here in presence in Villa Guastavillani, in the new campus and on the industry champions that we are going to present you through the company visits. Company visits, workshop, hackathon experience, business, business games, all these experiences create what is the, the beauty of the, uh, of the hybrid MBA program. We are running the fourth edition right now, so we are really uh, um, achieving great goals with this program. And as Gabriella has, cor has correctly said, we are also reaching uh, the new accreditation and the in the 2024 QS ranking edition is what gave us a real, a real proud from, from this point of view, especially for this year. As I said, uh, the global the hybrid MBA is uh, an executive uh, MBA program, and in order to access it, you have to uh, have three specific requirements. Besides the English proficiency, which is assessed during uh, the your CV screening, we request your bachelor degree with three or more uh, years of work experience. Otherwise, we uh, accept a few profiles, which will be selected through the. Uh, the CV screening and interview with me, uh, which don't have a university degree, but they have at least a five years experience. That's done because we believe that an MBA program need, uh, needs uh, at least a minimum year of professional experience on the field. And for us, it's really important to, um, to have this experience in order to understand what is the work to be done on, uh, on the level of the uh, hybrid MBA program. Having said that, um, after the CV screening, which is the first part of the application process, and that's really set through a, an, in, an individual interview with me, we go through the real selection process. It's done in two main sessions. Those are 30 minutes, ones each, and those are set online, of course. The first one is an entry test. 30 minutes online test, mathematical logical question, multiple choice, Not, nothing to be afraid of. That's done for uh, international uh, accreditation purposes. And since we are Equis accredited for the next five years, that's really important for us to assess also the quality of our students. The second part is the assessment interview. We will have 30 minutes interview with Professor Giorgio Prodi. He is the, um, the, the, our uh, marvelous di director of the Arbid MBA program. Uh, um, Professor Prodi and I have been working already three years along. I've seen all the, the edition of the master. So we, uh, we want to assure you that your objective and the one of the master will be perfectly matching during, the, uh, during and after the completion of, of the master. Having said that, we are reporting a few career uh, career development um st uh, statistic that will help us and um, to understand that the master is not just a way of learning more information it's also a matter of creating your own community and creating your international network during the master there will be a few um seminars dedicated to career development as well as some mentoring session with uh, Eugenio Sidoli who is the CEO of Maxmara giving you the chance to build your own experience as, as a manager, as a leader in your own future. 
This com uh, will continue also after the master with the BBS community, and the BBS community will provide you with exclusive events, also new contacts on uh, on your alumni, which already uh, reaches 11, uh, 1100 uh, alumni with a good percentage of international students and the professional opportunities that will be provided through the career session. We put some statistics related on the job position changing in uh, after completing the master after the 12 months and also the new uh, the hiring in new companies what we wanted to, to underline also is the average gross remuneration increase which is a uh, plus 27 percent almost after completing the master after 12 months so that's a real good result for us we are already on the fourth edition and we are aiming to uh, continuing this um to, to reach high uh, high goals, not only for us as a school, but especially for our students. And that's the moment where uh, I, I prefer the most is, I think that uh, you can understand the master and how it develops through the words of who has already done it, who has actually um, completed the master with the graduation day uh, a few months ago. So I'll be pleased to, to welcome Kadarjena here in uh, uh, in our conversation and um, to, to start a bit, a bit to to talk about what is the master uh, for for our students. So hi, Kadarjena, and thank you for for joining Hello. us. Hello, uh, thank you for having me. <laughs> it's really a pleasure to uh, share my experience in this hybrid MBA. That mm -hmm. it was it was great. It was great. <laughs> I'm really here, uh, happy to to hear of it. So um, I think that um, uh, if you, if you want, we can uh, speak about three main ma macro macro section. The first one uh, is the the work life balance. The second one is the uh, network, international and faculty speaking, and then the MA influence on the career. So, what do you think of the of like um, doing an MBA and managing also your life perspective, your work, uh, your work career, and everything? How was it? <laughs> So for me, the hybrid model uh, was excellent uh, for managing my private life and also my work. Uh, I couldn't be able to do like the classic MBA because, you know, you have to, <laughs> you know, have a one year stop in your career or, you know, you, you should manage it in, uh, in some way. So the hybrid model was a really good opportunity because, you know, it, it was quite hard, okay, because uh, you have to study, obviously, uh, but it was much, much easier to, uh, to you know, to manage uh, with, with my work, okay? It was like the perfect match. Uh, and on the other hand, I, I think I, um, I learned how to manage my, my time better, okay? Because, you know, you, <laughs> uh, every one of us has only 24 hours, okay? So you, you learn how to manage it. It was also a good skill that uh, MBA added uh, to me. Uh, if we we are talking about uh, the international experience, so uh, mm -hmm. half of my colleague uh, in in the course was like um, from abroad. Okay, I I have uh, colleagues from Brazil, from China, from uh, uh, Portugal, and you know it, it was great a great experience to new new people from all over the world. Uh, also professors that had uh, an international experience, you know, it really opened your, your mind in my, in, in my, in my opinion. And what about the, the influence of like doing an MBA and then completing it and using it in your career, how influence it? Uh, so first of all, I think uh, the MBA opened your mind, okay. Uh, you you can really um, share your, your experience and also new the experience of your colleagues. Uh, you can uh, really uh, um, see what, what, what other ways, what other paths uh, of your career you can do, okay? It was, for me, it was uh, really the, the first uh, reason to start an MBA because I, I'd like to, um, you know, um, to change my career path, 
So, so it was really helpful, you know, to broad and open my mind to different mm -hmm. opportunities. Okay. Uh, also, I, I would say that uh, alumni community is really helpful because uh, nowadays I, I have a lot of contacts, not only on LinkedIn, but you, you know, also we have a chat from of alumni uh, where we can ask you know, for help, for some insight in, uh, I don't know, in, in my case, in pharma uh, and science. Uh, <laughs> uh, and there's a lot of people that are really helpful to reach, to reach out. So um, I would definitely consider it. Okay, thank you. Well, um, I, I will ask you just one last question because I think it's uh, it's something that will bring also the emotional part in this conversation. I mean, what's the sweetest um, like memory you you have of the of the hybrid MBA program? Uh, so <laughs> the most beautiful one is was the Smart Week because you know maybe the part that is uh, in some way. Uh, I don't know how to say it, but you you need to to see your colleagues in in really in, in vivo. Okay, so yeah. in the <laughs> the smart week was a great opportunity to share um, to share with with our colleagues. One week of really great experience. Uh, we went to different companies. In uh, for example, we went to Lamborghini. It was really great. Uh, to Max Mara, uh, and you know this this kind of um, be each other for for one week. It was really really great. Okay. Well, well, I I remember those days also specifically in Lamborghini when we, yeah. we got the chance to meet Perruccio Lamborghini, like yeah, really by exactly. chance. Exactly. Exactly. Really. It was great. <laughs> Best picture <laughs> that we got on uh, on that occasion. Well, uh, I think that the the, the Arbit MBA program is something that um, I'm, I'm attached to it because it's the first master I've been introducing while I started my collaboration with uh, with Bologna Business School. So um, I'm really proud to have seen like how it developed until the, the last edition and having the chance to to meet uh, the guys also in uh, here in Bologna and heading in companies is is a great opportunity in my in my opinion. Well, uh, thank you very much, Katarzyna. Your 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 words are always really appreciated, and thank you also for uh, for supporting us in uh, in this moment of presentation. And I think it's the time to to give the words to my colleague Julia. Uh, Julia and I were working already already together in uh, one two years, and um, we work together on the on the global MBA. And she's in charge of like making the magic happen in uh, in this master. So I'll leave the floor to her, and then we will create a discussion on uh, on the main topics on uh, on the global MBA. Hello everyone, uh, good afternoon or good evening uh, based on where you are. My name is Julia and I work for the Global MBA program. Um, just a few words to introduce uh, this um, amazing uh, <laughs> MBA program. Um, I'm really excited to present it to you because um, it's um, one of the best programs I've seen so far. Um, it's a 12-month transformative program, uh, which was born to provide a uh, um, strong foundation in global business and at the same time to help you develop leadership skills, which are really needed uh, in the modern marketplace. Um, this program mixes uh, the advanced academic research of our international faculty with real uh, business uh, cases and it offers you the possibility to learn from both top faculty members and uh, experienced business professionals. Um, the main characteristic of this program, of this um, university MBA program, is that it has five different tracks of specialization and maybe after that we can have uh, more time to discuss about the differences. Um, but please, if we can change the slide, so it's easy. Thank you. Uh, so as I've told you before, the program is full time with classes starting in September 2025 and ending in June 2026 and takes place on campus here on Bologna, both in Villa Guastavillani and on the new campus. 
upon completion being a graduate program run in collaboration with the University of Bologna, you will earn 60 university credits. Um, one of the key aspects is uh, the opportunity to choose amongst uh, five different tracks of specialization. And these tracks uh, were born to provide you with knowledge related to different industry interests and professional goals based on uh, what you, what are your passions uh, in life. You can choose to specialize, specialize in artificial intelligence and manufacturing if you want to focus on the transformative power of artificial intelligence uh, in the manufacturing industry. Design, fashion, and luxury goods uh, is uh, to dive into the intersection of creativity, design, and the luxury world uh, internationally and uh, Italian one. And then we have the food and wine. Uh, we are located in Bologna, which is uh, called the Food Valley of Italy. Um, and this program was born to explore the, the world of Italian excellence in food and wine. And then we have sustainability and innovation um, to help you uh, learn how businesses are evolving and they have to meet the demands of sustainability and how innovation uh, plays a key role in this sector. And then the last but not least important, the one in supercar, superbikes and motorsports, which was born for those passionate about uh, high performance vehicles. And uh, this track is um, unique um, as uh, it offers you the chance to learn from leaders of Italy's uh, Motor Valley. Um, as for the program structure, um, it's divided into three different terms. Uh, so at the beginning in September, you will have a couple of weeks uh, with the uh, online pre-courses for orientation called orientation modules. And after that, the first term will focus on the general management courses, giving you a foundation in essential business skills. After that, the second and third terms are dedicated to the track specific courses. So they will depend on the track you will choose upon enrollment uh, to help you dive into the content and knowledge specific to your chosen, chosen specialization. Um, you will also have the opportunity uh, to participate uh, after classes are over in either a 500 hour internship or complete a final project uh, um, in order to, to close your career. Uh, Okay. Um, as for the admission requirements, in order to join this program, uh, being a university program, uh, candidates should have a series of minimum requirements that are to have a, at least a bachelor's degree in any fields of study. We have people who studied uh, humanistic fields in the humanistic fields and others who studied engineers, uh, mathematics, statistics. So uh, it really doesn't matter for us. And then you need to have at least three years of professional experience, which can be consecutive or cumulative. For instance, if you work one year and then you stopped for a couple of years, the important thing is that the total amount is three. And then you need to have at least a level B2 of English. You, um, you can, if you don't have an official certificate, it doesn't matter for us um, because uh, the admission process consists in two phases. And the first one, you will have to complete an online aptitude test and an online English test to assess your level. Uh, you need to pass both tests in order to move on to the second phase, which is the most important part for us because uh, it involves an oral interview with the director of the master and the industry leaders, which will last approximately 30 minutes and uh, will give you a score to, to enter the program. Okay, regarding career development, the pro this program um, offers you throughout the academic year um, an important career development support um, with the aim of ensuring you're well prepared for the next step in your, in your professional career. And um, this includes personalized career guidance to help you understand what are your career goals. And then um, a range of uh, workshops, leadership talks, uh, events connected um, to connect you with industry professionals. And then we have uh, some international and international um, networking events inside the school. Um, and um, apart from that, uh, 
the career service offers other types of uh, supports, such as um, meetings to help you shape your uh, CV and write your cover letters, and then personal branding meeting uh, to ensure you present yourself in the best way in order to find your internship once classes are over. The, our career service will help you for interview, so they will offer tips and strategies to perform at the best uh, in, uh, in your job interviews. Um, okay, as you can see, the, um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> the, um, we will have uh, the next call for, the new call for application at the end of December 2024, or maximum at the beginning of January. For each academic year, we organize four rounds of selections, starting from January until July. And uh, each round of selection um, will have its own written test phase and or an interview. And after that, there will be a window for you to enroll. We offer scholarships. Uh, the tuition fee is 35,000, um, but we offer scholarships, which can be full or partial. They are merit-based, which means uh, the amount you will get depends on the outcome of the selection process and how you perform during the or interview with uh, Marcello Russo, our scientific director and the industry leaders. Uh, scholarships will be, of course, awarded based uh, on your position in the ranking and the uh, amount will vary accordingly. Thank you very much. And now if you have any questions, we're open. Okay. Uh, we have a few questions here. Uh, the first question uh, is for the scholarship and uh, citizenship to study MBA. Uh, it's the guy from Ethiopia, but uh, Julia already answered the question about the scholarship. Yes. Uh, yeah. If you want to say something more, yeah. Sure. Um, for each academic year, we have a certain amount of scholarships, which is not uh, defined at the beginning, but uh, for each round of selections, um, it really depends on the score you obtain. The maximum score you can obtain uh, will be uh, a sum up of uh, both documents uh, um, presented uh, when... Um, when applying for the program, we will evaluate your CV, your motivational letter, your reference letters, and uh, also the, the your fit with the program from the papers. And then the aura interview uh, will be a sort of uh, motivational interview to test your, again, your fit with the program and uh, your motivation, the alignment uh, between the program and, and your career. And based on the sum of uh, the documents and the or interview, you will get a score up to 100. The higher the score, the higher the scholarship. Of course, if you get 100 points, you will get the full scholarship, which will cover all tuition fees. Thank you, Julia. Uh, the other question is, uh, what are the chances for the interna international student to stay in Italy after the global MBA? Mm -hmm. And what is the average salary of alumni after the program? Okay, so uh, the um, the possibility to stay in Italy after the program it's up to you. Uh, we have uh, here, for instance, Gabriella. Uh, she did an MBA in Italy, and uh, after completing the program, uh, she decided to stay and live here. So it really it. It's really up to you. Every year we have some students who decide to do their internships in Italy. Um, and then uh, after that, if they get up for a job or they if they find other opportunities in another company, they can stay in Italy. Um, of course, based on your country of origin, uh, the um, bureaucratic procedure can vary. So, of course, if you're coming from outside Europe, you will need to apply for a residence permit which can be renewed one time. So you can stay two years legally in Italy um, with a permit related to your um, study path. And after that, uh, if, you, if you have a stable job, you can turn it into a residence permit for working purposes. So 
the chances are really depending on um on you and how you 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 fit uh, in the um, in the job field of Italy. Just to add on to that, uh, Julia, um, the other thing that we always highly recommend is obviously, um, you know, attending um, Italian uh, because Italy is very much um, a country where Italian is still still very widely used, um, and the Global MBA offers Italian classes throughout the whole year. Um, and the Italian classes, however, are not they they not compulsory. Um, it's an extracurricular that that we give all of the students on the global MBA um, as a as part of the tuition fees. Um, but it's definitely, definitely, absolutely advised to to practice your Italian and to attend the classes in order to in order to um in order to ensure that you know that opportunity to stay in Italy is 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 a lot more guaranteed. Although companies are absolutely looking at um, having international know-how, so that's just something from my own personal experience. As Julia said, I'm South African. I came to do the global MBA in food and wine here at BBS ten years ago. Um, but obviously, it was a lot easier for me because I had double citizenship. Yes, but also because um, you know I pushed myself, even though I'm not mother tongue Italian, but I come from an Italian family. So that's just to give you um, sort of a, a background. Um, in terms of the salary question, um, it's the average salary of an alumni after the program. Um, the internship um, that we carry, well, we don't necessarily, the internship that is offered um, to a global MBA student, um, you know, lasts for, for three months. Um, and the internship salary is always a little bit less than what would one expect after after the global MBA. However, it ranges between 600 euros to 800 euros. Um, and then after that internship, there is then the possibility to have a job uh, um, job offer from the company if, if you stay on. And then that always then um, increases. The, there is obviously the, the expectation that one needs to realize that the Italian market, obviously, if wanting to stay in Italy, is lower than the rest of, or lower than the international market, however, is absolutely increasing. Um, and our career service does an excellent job in order to ensure and place um, people, if they're wanting to stay in Italy, within, within um, you know, that range when it comes to the internship, but then afterwards, that salary then increases absolutely. Um, on an international scale, obviously the MBA or the global MBA helps to ensure that you you know there's that opportunity to grow to grow in the salary perspective as well. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's continue to, uh, to other questions. Uh, does it matter in which industry is my work experience? Um, well, uh, I can explain this for the both hybrid and global MBA. Well, in both cases, um, what we require is, require is relevant work experience, meaning that what is important for us is for you to have work in a company or in an organization or in an environment where you have the chance to understand what are the roles of, of your colleague, what is like the main sector of a company and how it holds work in all merge in what a company outcome is. So uh, the an MBA program should do a double work on on based on your experience. The first one is on a uh, on horizontal level. So providing you the knowledge and the uh, awareness of how each department works and how it's they are uh, managerially um uh, like working together so they are not silos but they work together and the second uh, layer of understanding is the vertical one the verticality is not given by the quantity of knowledge that you're going to learn either in the hybrid or in the global mba the verticalization is specifically built on the strategy point of view on the managerial point of view we want to uh, give you all the tools to become the best manager and leader of uh, in, in, in 
in your own sector. So it doesn't matter if it's in the automotive, if it's in the manufacturing, food and wine. What it matters is giving you the chance to uh, be a, a better manager in, in your own reality, which is unique. So we can like uh, dictate on uh, which sector providing you. So an MBA, your MBA class will be really uh, intermingled with uh, people coming from different uh, different culture, but also different environment. And that, that will enrich you, your own experience, in my opinion. I hope it, uh, it was clear from for, for this question. Uh, so we have... Uh... Uh, other question. Uh, one of the tendencies said that uh, he has um, around five years of work experience, uh, so can uh, be a perfect candidate. But uh, I'm still wondering which one is more suitable for a person with my experience. Okay. Uh, well, the decision of which master uh, to choose is based on different on different levels. The first level is surely the um the modality because the hybrid MBA program it has a specific requirements of 90% attendance online so it's more manageable from the work life balance and you know that you can bring on the same table your work your life and your uh, education uh, experience and path at the same time and you see the development of it and your career development after completing the master the global MBA, in my opinion, and I've been working on it on last year, it's like a life, real life change experience, like completely uh, saying to yourself, I want to be totally involved in, um, in a project as the global MBA, which requires me to be um, have a full time student and giving me the chance then to, to get a scholarship, uh, to, to get an internship and then to start my career. On, on new basis. So the formula is what should be one of the uh, main point of choice between the two the two programs and also the kind of like uh, focus the two masters have. I mean, the hybrid MBA program is a generalized, I will say MBA program and with the specific of providing you um, information and analysis on uh, on what are the best cases of the Italian industry, which are both on the global scale. So, so um, companies as Max Mara, but also Ducati, Lamborghini, um, and others, Avi Group, for instance, uh, Ima Group, those are like um, localized, and but also globalized. So it's something that will be used in any context of the world. The Global MBA has the peculiarity of giving you both generalized approach so you will be a general management and general manager, but having you the chance also to have a specialization in uh, one of the uh, of the track that Julia listed before. So it, I think those are two of the main aspects you need to take into consideration. It's good that you have five years of, uh, of relevant work experience. If you want to uh, understand better what is the best necessity for you, of course, we provide uh, online orientation sessions which are sort of consultation um, to understand which is the, 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 the program that best suits your necessity. So we are also here at your disposal. If you want to inquire a little bit, it will take 30 minutes and we will do our best to provide you with your the, the best tools in, you, in order for you to, to choose either the hybrid or the global MBA. Thank you, Kumasia. And the last question is, uh, could you tell me more what are the average living ex expenses in Bologna per month? Okay. Maybe. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, of course, it's very subjective because it depends on everyone's lifestyle. Um, I can what I can tell is that uh, about the rent. First of all, the average for a single room in a shared apartment is between 400 and 600 euro per month. Sometimes bills are included, other times they're not. Then, of course, uh, you will have to uh, do the grocery shops. So I would say around 100, 200 euro if you want to spoil yourself. <laughs> and then, of course, if you want to go out for dinner or for 
happy hour, which is really common here in Bologna, I would say an average between 10, 20 euro per evening out. Um, then there's, uh, you're gonna need a bus pass, uh, which is around 40 euro if you are a student enrolled uh, in the university. So the range can be between 600 to 1000 euro, but it is really subjective. So it, it depends. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the answer and uh, thank you for attending this webinar. Thank you.